Welcome. This video will show the user how to use a scheduling matrix within MPA Works and MPA Go. This feature can be used to see scheduled appointments for several clients or staff members for a specified date range at one time. Please note, this feature is to be used on tablets in the horizontal position or on a computer screen. It is not designed for tablets in the vertical position or cell phones. To access the scheduling matrix from MPA Works, begin on the main screen and click on the scheduling matrix button located on the top toolbar. This will take the user to the scheduling matrix filters page within MPA Go. To access the scheduling matrix from MPA Go, start on the main calendar page and click on the menu button located on the top right of the screen. With the MPA Go menu options displayed, click on the scheduling matrix button. Once the scheduling matrix button has been selected, a filters page will be displayed. There are several options that can be set here. If you're using the feature from MPA Go, you will notice the back arrow, which takes you back to the home page. The information or help icon displays a help message explaining the filters page. Below these buttons, you will see staff, client. Here, determine if you want to use the scheduling matrix to view staff or client schedules by choosing either staff or client. Use the office filter to select one or more offices to view in the calendar page. Please note, selecting offices is based on the user's access role. You could use the region filter to select one or more regions to view in the calendar page. Note. The region filter uses the entered data in the city field of the staff's record. To set the date range, click on the calendar button to display a mini calendar. Here, select the date range you wish to run in the scheduling matrix. The Today button will set the date range for the current date only. Use the drop-down menus to select one, multiple, or all options to view schedules for staff members and or clients. One, multiple, or all services can also be selected by using its drop-down menu. If you would like to restore the defaulted filter values, simply click on the Reset button. Lastly, click on the Run button to view the data in the Scheduling Matrix calendar page. Let's now review the information displayed in the Scheduling Matrix. The back arrow will return the screen to the previous page. The Refresh button will reload the information set on the Filters page. Use the Filters button to return to the Filters page. If at any time you need a quick refresher on what the scheduling matrix is, simply click on the Help button to display an informative message. Next, either staff or client will be highlighted to indicate you have selected to view either staff or client schedules. The selected date range will be displayed on the upper right side. Next, the time of day is displayed. Use the Expand and Collapse buttons to view the appointments for each specific day. Next to the date, you will see either the staff or client count for the day depending on which schedules you choose to view. In the main portion of the screen, you will see the scheduled appointments. Please note, appointments initially display as outlines until you have validated the appointments. Total days, at the bottom left of the screen, will show the total number of days within the selected date range. The total number of staff or clients will be displayed as well, depending on which scheduling matrix view you are using. Now, let's discuss validating appointments. When the calendar page loads, the appointments appear as outlines. Click on the Validate Appointment button to validate all appointments for the days that have been expanded. Once the page has finished processing, the outline appointments will be filled in based on the color scheme within MPA Works. Once the appointments have been validated, you can click on an appointment to view additional details such as appointment time, staff or client names for service appointments, and the location of the appointment. If you are viewing a non-service appointment, you will see the subject line of the appointment instead of a service name. If there are overlapping appointments on the staff or client schedule, they will be displayed as a light purple appointment. Click on the overlapping appointment to view all of the appointments and their additional details. Lastly, Appointment Types filter is located on the bottom of the screen. Use the filter to display one, multiple, or all types of appointments. Simply click on the Appointment Type button to display the drop-down menu. 
Then click on and off each appointment type name to deselect or select the appointment types you wish to display in the scheduling matrix. Note, this is only enabled once appointments have been validated. You are now ready to use the scheduling matrix. Remember, this feature can be used to view staff or client schedules. If you have any questions about using the scheduling matrix feature, please contact our support team via email at support at codemetro.com or at 877-796-9883.